So basically, God's really cool because I had nothing to share today. And when I said, okay, I have nothing, something popped into my head. So I really don't think this is my idea. And there's a reason why I'm sharing this. Okay, so in this week's Torah portion, we discuss the city of Sodom. Sodom. Um, and this city was infamous for its crazy immorality. And God goes to our forefather Abraham, Abraham Avinu, and says that he's going to destroy the city of Sodom. And what he does is he begs to save them. He begs to save these people. If there are 50 righteous people, save, the, save all the cities. If there are 40, 30, 20, 10, you know, and to no avail. Everyone was just completely immoral there. But he prays to save his nephew Logan. Hashem grants him that, that request. The question is, why did Avram even pray for these people? They were doing everything completely against what he believed in. And the answer is that Avram Avinu is the epitome of what we should copy when it comes to dealing with other people. If people are doing immoral things, you don't need to hate them. You know the, the concept of love the sinner, hate the sin? Just because someone is doing something that's against what you believe in doesn't mean that you should go against them and hate them and banish them from your home and not socialize with them at all. But if someone is doing something, who knows what the reason is. Maybe it's an emotional need. Maybe it's just a weakness. It doesn't mean that you should banish them from your lives and ban them. So I guess what we should learn is to be more loving of the people around us, regardless of if their behavior is not aligned with what we believe in. So, love the sinner, hate the sin. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and I hope to see you next week. Oh, I'm so tired.